What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again and today I have been to Morrison's and I've got a product that I don't think I've seen before. I, do, I don't mind a, a soup and I don't mind a curry. This one is a classic chicken curry soup. So it's got to make its mind up. Is it a soup or is it a curry? It looks a bit of both to be fair on that in there. We'll have a look at the tin in a second. But it, I've not seen this before but it doesn't say new anywhere. Morrison's Classic Chicken Curry Soup and the reason I picked that up is because at the time of filming now this is actually going to go out a week later and tomorrow I'm starting the three for five pound challenge that you guys have already seen I haven't started it started tomorrow morning but the reason I'm um, filming this now and doing this having this now for my tea is because we've got a, uh, a um, is it hash brown? A naan bread, a massive naan bread left over. So I thought, well, because I'm doing the three for five, three days for five pound challenge, I can't, I can't have another curry because it's not part of my three days worth of meals. Um, I don't even know what they are actually yet. So <laughs> you guys will know about watching this. It's confusing, isn't it? Filming in advance. Anyway, let's just get on with it. Chicken curry soup with a naan bread. We're going to see what this is like. Strange to me, strange concept. Chicken curry or chicken soup. Which are you? Which is it? So I know you can obviously microwave these, but I always think that they're better done on the hob. So that's what we're going to do. So here it is. Morrison's Classic Chicken Curry Soup Sauce of Protein. And it looks like there's like chickpeas in there, chicken, tomatoes, rice. Let's have a look. Let's see what it is. 400 grams in this tin, and that is half a can worth of your traffic light system so it's quite good for you bar the salt it's actually not that bad that is it 98 calories for half a can so that's under 200 calories for this can that's all right isn't it obviously once you add your bread and that it's going to be going up but that is the nutrition information i'm going to try rotate it slowly for you guys so that you can see everything you need to see i don't know what i'm talking about there anyway so and the ingredients right we should be able to see that so it's actually 11% rice, 5% chicken. So there's hardly any chicken in this. Onion, chickpeas, red pepper, carrot, tomato, reconstituted tomato puree, water. You've got milk and celery as the allergens. And it just says chicken curry soup. There's nothing, nothing special about it. Like I say, you can microwave it or you can hob it. Three to four minutes. I'm going to hob it. And that's it. It does say produced for Morrison's from British Chicken, which is a change, which I'm quite happy about. So let's get this on the hob. I'm going to put it on this front hob. It heats quicker. And uh, yeah, we'll see what it's like. So no tin opener required. Got a ring pull on this. So it looks a bit like a, a stew. So is it curry? Looks like chicken curry chicken curry soup. Right, three to four minutes. I'll bring it back when it's ready and get this naan bread in to the oven. So I was just looking for the receipt but I can't seem to find it to tell you guys how much this was. Now I know that it was on offer um, because we bought a tin of tomato soup for uh, Mrs. Dino and that's why I got this one because it was two for 150 so I reckon they're about 85p 80, 80 85p and if you buy two of any of the Morrison's range you get two for £1.50 so it's possible to get it at 75 pence a can which it's not that cheap to be fair not what, not what I'm used to what I've used to pay for soup I don't really buy soup that much because of how expensive it is, you look at Heinz now when you're looking at five quid for three cans or something on offer, it's like two pound a can, it's crazy. I did do the Just Essentials soups um, a while back actually as well, I'll link that video at the end of this one. They're alright, the chicken soup in particular I thought was uh, pretty decent if I remember rightly. Right, I'll bring you back when this is done.
so that is just about done so I'll get this in this bowl here and then we'll have a tasting out there because there's not enough chicken to leave in the pan let me tell you that there we go okay get the number out we'll have a taste how good does that look right let's give it a taste okay so it's all important taste time now it does look like a soup, it's not as thick as a curry, but it smells like a curry. So, and it's absolutely roasting. So actually what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna show you a little bit of this, uh, this garlic naan, oh. This garlic naan is absolutely fantastic from Morrison's. I'm just gonna dip it in because it is absolutely boiling. Look at the smoke coming off that. Don't want to burn my mouth off, but Got a nice flavour that. Garlic naan is fantastic. Like I already knew that. It's more about this uh, this soup. So there's not a lot of chicken in it, but there is. Obviously, you can taste like the curry powder. It's got. They filled it out with 11% rice and chickpeas, which is like the most of it. A few peppers and tomatoes as well. Right, see if we can get a spoonful of this correct soup, whatever it is, without burning my mouth off. I think that might be the first time I've ever had chickpeas. They're pretty hard, aren't they? Like, really. Not really hard, but they're tougher than other peas. It's so warm. But you know what? It's got a decent flavour. What it reminds me of, now this might be a bit a bit weird or a bit, a bit disgusting, but what it reminds me of, when we make a curry, Mrs. Dino eats all the chicken pieces out of, of the curry and then she ends up leaving a lot of sauce on the plate. And sometimes what I do is rather than just bin the sauce, because I'm not really one for wasting food, I put the sauce and whatever's left from the curry, I add it, if there's more curry, I'll add it to, uh, I'll add the sauce back into the curry. But if, if that's the only thing that's left, what I actually do is I put it into a little um, Tupperware tub and I just make some chips or something and I pour it over the top. And it's kind of giving me that vibe of the, just like the curry sauce with no with no filling. There's not, because it's rice, most the, the biggest um, ingredient in this is rice. Everything else has just lost. It's just like I'm having curry sauce and rice, but with no chicken. I can't even see any chicken. It's, I know it's a soup and the chicken is like the chicken from chicken soup. It can like shredded but it's just not it's just non-existent the odd the odd peppers there or tomato i can't tell which one it is quite a few chickpeas in there and a lot of rice but that's it <clears throat> i don't know not enough chicken for me in this it's tasty though so it's definitely more of a soup than a curry but i think i call it more of a chicken and vegetable soup chicken and vegetable the ingredients are like what you get in dog food, aren't they? Chicken, vegetable and rice. The sauce is nice. It's got a nice curry sauce flavour. It's not bad. Do you know, it's somewhat different. It's better than just having chicken soup and it's, or oxtail soup or tomato soup or vegetable soup. It's something different. It's not something I've had before. So overall, I give it a 7 out of 10. It's not too bad. The naan bread's going to help. It's going to wipe it all up with naan bread and it's going to be fantastic. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you again next time. 
I'm not sure when this video is actually going out, so I can't tell you what's tomorrow. I'm just filming this because it's like my last supper. Before I do the three for five pound challenge, which you guys will have already seen, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you've already hit the subscribe and the notify bell. And if you haven't, do it now. Thanks for watching. Catch you tomorrow for another food review. Special. Oh, I wouldn't buy that again.